Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwi Classics and Customs. Wanted to go over the final delivery part of this project, Barbera Mustang. Now, as you can see, 65 Mustang Fastback. Now we've done a huge amount of work on this one. This was a nut and bolt restoration. Uh, like everything came off it. We had it sandblasted. Uh, it had it was in a pretty good shape. You know, it had some issues where it had some ordinary repairs done decades ago. Um, but yeah, we got all that straightened out. There was, there's, uh, it still has all its own body panels, even the rear quarters are original to the car. Um, just had a few dents and bangs here and there, stuff like that, had a little bit of hail damage, uh, stuff like that. We got all that straightened out. Barry put a beautiful coat of Barbera Red, um, two stage, yeah, you know, base coat, clear coat, clear coat on it. Uh, it's actually a BMW colour, a late model BMW colour. And in the, it's raining outside right now. We'd love to have shown it to you out in the sunlight. It really does pop with a lot more red once the sun hits it. Uh, it's a gorgeous colour combination. And we've done a lot of behind the scenes work on this. Uh, we put a 331 stroker engine in it from TriStar Engines. Uh, it's got a 4R70W you know, electronic four-speed trans with lock-up torque converter. Uh, it's got a programmable uh, little brain for running the computer, for running the computer, for running the transmission. So it changes really nice, changes where you want it to, and you can actually go in and re reprogram it if you want. If you want it to hold a gear longer, you just go on your phone, just tap a few buttons and you can make it stay in gear a bit longer. You can make it char change a bit harder or a bit softer, depending on what you want but it's completely programmable, which is pretty cool. Uh, we did the upgrade up to Woolwood brakes, 12.2 uh, rotors all round, four piston calipers. And they are, there is, this car's going back to Australia. Uh, it's gonna be picked up in just a few hours, uh, put on a transporter over to Georgia, and then from there it's going on a boat back to Australia. So we had to get Australian spec uh, calipers that uh, the Woolwoods don't normally come with dust boots on them. Uh, but for the Australian market, for safety, that's just what they like. They like to have, you know, factory style dust boots on them. So we would do that for the Australian market. So it's it's everything it, it needs to be. But uh, let's, let's have a quick look at the engine bay and show you some jewellery in here. So we started off, we've put the 69 Mustang big block radiator in it. This is really wide. And to get it all in behind, uh, you know, or between the engine and the core support, we had to modify the core support quite a bit. It's tucked up really close to the core support, which meant we had to modify all the AC uh, mounts for this AC radiator. We've also hidden all the AC lines. Normally they, they come out, out of the firewall here where the blower motor used to be. That we've covered up. You know, we filled, smoothed that hole out. Uh, the AC line's now coming through the inner fender and just pop out here. So you've got just a very, you know, a foot, you know, eight inches of AC hose in the engine bay. We put a lot of little billet type stuff on it, like even the battery hold down is a billet, billet aluminum. The shock absorber top hat's a, a billet. And um, yeah, we got the Ring Brothers hinges, which are great, you know, like, like it's very easy to get your height spot on on the back of your hood so they're great um we've got stainless steel headers on it um, you know full full length uh headers on it uh, it's got the cfr front drive on it which is the black powder coated version which really looks nice combined with the black valve covers you get that aluminum black contrast which is really nice uh, we put the chrome export brace on it um, it's got the Wilwood Master Cylinder looking pretty. Even a even a black and aluminum reservoir for the power steering. Yeah. It's got the MSD ignition on it. Yeah. And everything's, you know, all the wiring's been hidden. The wiring runs under the, the left-hand front fender and is all hidden. So you don't have, we don't have any solenoid hanging out here like they normally have. Uh, so it's just really clean. There's a lot of subtle changes under here. But, you know, it takes, takes a lot of time to do, but the finished result is this is a really clean, super clean, tidy engine bay. And, and it's nice, it's pretty. So, there's that. 
Now that radiator is huge compared to the stock one. So the engine from TriStar, 430 horse, it's aluminum heads, it's got H-beam rods. Um, this thing will absolutely sing. We can hook that up with a Magnaflow exhaust and it sounds nice. It sounds really nice, but that's a super strong engine. You'll be able to rev that. You know, probably the red line on that somewhere around 7,500, like all day long. Um, and with the HP rods, nothing's gonna let go. Um, so that's that. If you peek down in the wheels here, we've got Foose wheels on it, 17s front and rear, a little bit wider in the rear. Um, you've got the Woolwood calipers in here, as I say, they're the, the dust booted ones for the Aussie market. We've got some, let's shoot in front of the camera, and we've got Ring Brothers uh, door mirrors. Now they're all billet, really nice touch. And yeah, this is just a super clean, um, just, you know, perfect car, really. Um, we put the GT rear balance on it, so we got the exhaust exiting through the rear balance. It's a little bit harder to see with the door closed. Yeah, it's got a nice sound, we'll fire it up in a second. Now, going inside, fairly stock interior. The customer wanted it. He didn't want to go wild on the interior. So we got the factory console in it. We put a brand new steering wheel in it. We put new door panels on it. They were just a bit old and tired. But the interior is pretty much as it was. We put a new headliner in it, which you know we did on a video a while back. Um, the other little thing, not sure whether you can see it, we've got a little red flashing light here. That's a security system, uh, which you really do need in Australia has a bit, and New Zealand to be fair, has a bit more of an issue with uh, cars getting stolen. So he's got an immobiliser in it, like right now. All right, we'll start. It has a little immobiliser deal on the key ring, which turns it off. have a nice crisp sound to it and when it when it starts to get up sort of over 3500 it really starts to sound nice yeah so it's uh pretty proud of this one it's a nice car it's a really nice car it came out well barry did a as i was saying a spectacular job on the paintwork if you zoom in on that paint try and show the viewers a little bit of that uh pearl in there barry well, that's the sun it really flips and flops it's uh it's nice And it looks, you know, it does, they did do a, a colour somewhat like this from the factory, which this car was originally, was a, a burgundy, but it had very little uh, metallic or pearl in it. This has just brought it up into the 21st century. And uh, and then, you know, with the wheels, you know, got a, a more aggressive, more aggressive stance on it. And, you know, like the, the whole thing, you know, the track is wider overall with the wider wheels. Yeah, it's a pretty little car. It's, uh, it's one I'd own, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, uh, a couple of hours it'll be on a truck heading out of here back to its uh, proud new owner. Not new owner, but proud owner. He's had it for quite a while. Uh, but well, yeah, we're proud of it. Um, hopefully he'll love it and love the sound, love the way it goes. It's fast. It is fast. 430 horse in this little car. It's pretty light. So it really does truck along well. So yeah, that's it, Project Barbera, all done and dusted. Now we're ready to go on to stuff like the Cougar, a couple of other things we got going in here. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the car. Hope you enjoy the car, Jason. And we'll see you around, guys. We'll be back into another video soon.